Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the lead hold question set matrix zeros. So this is a one of a blind 75 lead hold questions. So you are given n by n integer matrix. If an element is zero, set its entire row and column to zeros. So you must do it in place. So let's see the example. So you are given this matrix. Output is like this because we have zero um, at center of a matrix. So that means so entire this row and entire this column should be zero, right? So that's why output is like this. And uh, we have a follow-up question. So could you devise a constant space solution? We have to solve this question with the order O1. So let me explain how to solve this question. OK, so let me explain with this example. So to solve this question, so we have to solve this question like in place and constant time. So that's why uh, we use a first row and a first column as a, like a node to keep track of like a, which row has uh, zero and uh, which column has zero. And if before before that, we are going to update a uh, uh, first row and a uh, first column. That's why uh, first of all, we before that before updating, uh, we check the so first row has zero or first column has zero. So in this case, all values are one, right? So we don't have uh, a zero uh, in the first row and the first column. So I'll explain uh, later. So why we need uh, this check next. We iterate through except like a first row and the first column. So that means this for position. And then uh, find a zero. And if we find a zero, update um, current row and the column position. So that means, uh, so let's say uh, we find a zero here. In the case, update this position to zero and this position is zero. So that uh, we can definitely know. So this row and this column will be updated with zero, right? So we just uh, uh, mark and then rest of data is one, so we don't update anything. So if we have zero here, so we also update this position to zero. After that, so we know that uh, this row should be uh, all zero and this column should be all zero. So update uh, a row with zero. So now this here is zero and uh, this is zero and uh, we have to change this value to zero. And also uh, we have to uh, update this column uh, with zero. So zero, zero, and we have to update here to zero. After that, before we start uh, update uh, uh, each position, so we check uh, if first row has zero or not if we uh, if first column has uh, zero or not but uh, in this case uh, initial values are all zero right so that's why we don't have to update everything but uh, if uh, initial value here this initial value is zero so in that case we have to uh, update uh, this row uh, in the end right so in that case um, we should update uh, like a uh, this place to zero also, right? So that's why uh, we have to check uh, if we have a uh, zero in the first row and first column before we updating. Because after updating zero, so which uh, value is, uh, we don't know which value is the initial value or not. So that's why we create, we successfully create a, uh, like a output matrix, like a one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one. So that's why we should return this uh, output, this matrix. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, uh, calculate the length of row, length of matrix, and the columns equal length of matrix and the zero. And uh, first of all, um, we want to check if we have zero in the first row and the first column. So we should have like a flag. So far, let's say first row has zero equals zero, uh, equal false. So and uh, we have also we first column has zero and uh, first of all false. So after that, first of all, check if the first uh, first row contains zero. So for column in range and the uh, calls, and if 
matrix and the uh, row should be fixed zero and uh, move column and uh, equal zero in the case um so this first row oops first row has zero should be true and then break so let me copy um this so we we do the almost same thing for columns so check if first column contains zero so we change rows and r and uh, in this case r is like a dynamic and the uh, column is fixed equal zero and the first column has zero and two and break so after that um, use the first row and the column um, like a, as a node so after that so for uh, row in range start from one two length of rows and uh, we need one more for loop for column in range and start from one two length of columns and uh, if if matrix r and c equal zero in the case updates the first row and the first column so matrix row and zero equal zero and the matrix and the zero and the column equal zero and then after that um, set the marked rows to zero so for r in range and uh, start from one to rows length of rows and if matrix and the uh, row and the uh, zero equal zero in the case um for column in range and uh, start from one to length of columns and then update matrix uh, in this case r and uh, c equals zero and then we do the almost same thing for columns so set marked columns to zero so in that case from one to length of columns and uh, c and uh, in this case so row is fixed and the uh, column is dynamic equals zero in the case um so this one should be rows and uh, r and the uh, matrix r and c equals zero looks good and uh, so we need uh, like a space so like this so after that um so set the first row to zero if needed so um before we start updating so we check if we have zero in the first row and the first column and if, if we have uh, update uh, like a first row and uh, or first column to zero so if first row has zero is true in the case for column in range and uh, calls and the matrix so row is fixed and the column is dynamic equals zero and then i copy this so set first column to zero if you need it so first call has zero in the case so this is a length of row and the r so this in this case uh, row is dynamic column is fixed equals zero and then after that just return matrix yeah um, <laughs> this is a uh, really complicated and uh, looks like a uh, all for is like a boilerplate 
So I hope um, I'm going to pass um, all cases once. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of m multiplied n. So where m is a number of rows and n is a number of columns in the matrix. So this is because we iterate over all elements in the uh, matrix twice. So once in the nested loop where we mark the rows and the columns, and uh, once again in the loop where we set the marked rows and the columns to zero. So that's why. And the space complexity is O1 because we are using a constant amount of additional space to store the Boolean variables, like a first row has zero and the first column has zero. And uh, we are not using any extra data structure that scale with the size of input matrix. So the space complexity uh, remains uh, like a constant. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.